Okay, we're back, and today we are going to paint some of the bath bombs that are in the Winter Solstice box, which is the current box. These particular ones smell like bayberry. Um, of course, the the furnace is gonna come on. All right, so I got my little, little turntable that I like to paint on. I actually did just bleach it, so if it looks dirty, it's because I use it all the time, and you know, things get stained. Um, I was gonna maybe put a sheet over it, but let's see what I can find. pointless but I just didn't know if it was creeping anybody out of that that this is stained up so um where to start that is the question normally I do one color at a time and it hit them all so maybe that's where we'll start That was quite a lot. So I've just got some brown in my cup. Terrified. <laughs> Let's hope we likes it. Hope I'm not sticking my head in the way. the fun part of the rebel boxes you know the fact that it's still a really small box so I can really customize and play with the things that are in it um, and do fun designs like I know it's not my normal recipe that you guys love but I can make some really cool, cute things, which makes me happy. I think I almost want to get a smaller brush. So I guess what I'm saying is there's a lot of detail usually on the Rebel Box bombs. Not that I don't put attention to my regular bombs on my website, but, you know, I like to keep them 
with the formula that you guys all love. And often it's hard to pick up good details with, with that formula. So that's where you find like the more colorful bombs though, but usually in like a a ball shape or you know the candy candy jar shape. I need a little brush. definitely not going to be able to record all these as long as it's taking me to do just one. Just one color on one. So my video would be like an hour long and who wants to watch that? So maybe I'll just paint this one. That way you guys can see what they're going to look like. in his little nose the more I paint. Where did it go? It doesn't help that I'm half blind, you guys. I need a smaller brush. These are going to be pretty sparkly. Also, I know that this mold won't really sell after New Year's because it specifically says 2018 on it. So there are still a couple of these on my site. Not many, like three or four. Although you're pretty much out of time, I guess, at this point to, to make anything with it anyway. So it doesn't matter.
Everything went so quiet now. Alright, does that look like a 2018? <laughs> Yeah, I'm really slow. There's no way I can record all of this. But I know some of you enjoy watching how it's made and then being able to use it. So, plus we're going to go use one of these puppies <laughs> as soon as I get them painted. So we'll be able to see what do they look like in the tub. He's getting there, he's getting there. Should we give him some blue eyes? It'll look pretty funny, but why not? None of my stuff ever makes sense anyway. I don't know. I don't know. He might look, he might just look scary now. Yes, I really did just pick up a toothpaste. <laughs> you know, you gotta do whatever works. So, this is what we have so far. I think... I'm almost done. I just have one more thing to do. Glitter everywhere.
Alright. So here is one complete. I think he's cute. I think he'll work. <laughs> so hopefully he will make your new year a little bit happier. Because he looks happy to me. And yeah, I know a lot of you won't be getting this before New Year's because it's so close. But um, he'll be in your box anyway for you to use whenever you want to. And, you know, it's still the start of a new year. We all have goals and things we want to accomplish. So hopefully while you are bathing with him, you can contemplate that and, you know, have a good new year. <laughs> 